so my dear students you have seen that there are different elements in the process of communication such as the center the medium or the channel the message or the signal and the receiver now we shall move to the factors which influence the effectiveness of communication i told you that we have to make our communication effective actually we can communicate by making use of some words and pieces of sentences but if we want to be known as effective communicator or if we want to convey our message our information or our feeling in its real sense actually we should be able to communicate in a better way so there are different factors which influence the effectiveness of communication or there are some aspects which can make our communication more effective or there are some elements which we should keep in our mind when we are communicating to make our communication more effective or more interesting so i may show you or i may tell you the factors and these factors are related with these four elements there should be some quality to the center there should be some features for the medium or signal there should be some features for the message there should be some features for the receiver and with only with these features or with only with these factors you can make your communication more effective and more interesting so uh, let's look at some factors first one is communication skill of the center the first factor is communication skill of the center that means the ability of the center to communicate in a very good manner and this communication skill is not only the speaking skill okay whenever we hear about the communication skill of a person we feel that it is something called the speaking skill not only the speaking skill not only the ability to use some words or sentences but uh, it is speaking skill then pace of transaction the speed which you use selection of words then psychological knowledge then your ability to use voice modulation then your body language your gestures all the things are there speaking skill is important you should be able to speak in a fluent manner when you speak you should be able to uh, speak with fluency and when you speak you should be thinking about the pace of transaction pace means speed i may ask you a question can you communicate with the speed which you are using for college students can you communicate to the school students with the pace or with the pace or speed which you are using for communicating to college students can you no sir no so you should set you communicator should be able to uh, accept or select the pace or speed of communication on the basis of the nature of the listen yeah yeah yes yes so for example the nature of listener means maybe age maybe the linguistic ability suppose you are speaking in english language to a person who is not good at english language then sometimes you may have to reduce the pace of your speaking even if you are able to speak in a better pace am i right yes, am i 
think so. Yeah. So this place of transaction is an important factor. The communicator, the center uh, should be aware of the place which he or she can use when communicating with a particular person. Then selection of words. Again, something important. Uh, sometimes if you are delivering a speech before some common folk, you may have to select some simple words. But if you are delivering a speech to some people who have got some uh, some aesthetic sense or who have got some expertise in literature, then you can use bombastic words. You can use some standard language. You can use some some words, some sophisticated language or lofty language, lofty words. You can use some words uh, which are being used by people like Shashi Tharoor. I do not believe that a common man can understand for what Shashi Tharoor tells in English language. He always tries to use some, some words which are not familiar to others. So you can use such words, I'm not blaming him, you can use such words. But when you use such words, you should think about the listeners. You should think, you should be careful whether the listener, whether the receiver can catch what you're telling. See, communication will be successful only when the listener catches what you want to tell. Otherwise, it will be a failure, though you are able to use some bombastic words, though you are able to use some, some words, some lofty words. If the receiver is not able to catch what you are telling, communication will be a failure. So, selection of words. Selection of words, the ability to select suitable words, apt words on the basis of the nature of the listener, on the basis of the nature of the conversation, on the basis of the nature of the message. It's also a part of the skill of the communication skill of the center. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Then psychological knowledge of the communicator or the center. You should know the psychology. Again, when you speak to some person, you should speak on the basis of his interest or his, uh, uh, his ability. Because you should know about the growth and development of people. For example, if your students give a wrong answer for a question. You can make use of different, different words. You can just tell utter foolishness. It is, it is against psychology. If you tell so, the child will be distraught. I will be uh, telling this one when I will talk about something else in the language of cross-curricular classroom, okay? So, you should know psychology. Uh, you should be able to use some words or you should be able to use some techniques for communication on the basis of the behavioral pattern of the listener, on the basis of the psychological aspects of the listener. So, you should know psychology. And if you know psychology, you can communicate with different people in different manners by using different methods, by using different ways, by using different facial expressions, by using different body language. If you're communicating to a person who has, got, who has lost all the expectations, all the hope in his life, then your body language or your facial expression should be something which can create some confidence in that person. So you should get some psychological knowledge. So the psychological knowledge is also a part of the communication skill of 
the center. Then voice modulation. And this is something important. Voice modulation is something important. You should be able to raise your voice, then you, you, you should make it something, uh, you should reduce the volume. You should make use of the correct stress and intonation. So voice modulation also is something important for making your communication effective. Then body language. And body language also is important because if you are communicating with the person and if you are using some, some static body language, then the listener may not be interested in listening to you. Sometimes you may have to use some dynamic body language. Your body should move. Your body should move uh, with your words. And you should be able to use gestures. Accurate gestures, I will tell. Not awkward, awkward mannerisms, okay? Time is 11.30. I don't want to take even a single extra minute. We will be discussing the remaining items in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes.